in order to use the services of an IMS system, a user equipment first needs to connect to the IMS system. And in order to do that, the user equipment would first establish a PDU session. And using that PDU session, it would connect to the public data network or the packet network. And since the IMS is the is a part of the public data network, then that user equipment would connect to the IMS system. And more precisely speaking, the user equipment would connect to the proxy call session control function in the IMS network because it is the entry point to the IMS network. Now talking about the PDU session for IMS connectivity, for example, this user equipment wants to register itself with the IMS system. So it would need uh, a PDU session with one quality of service flow and this quality of service flow will would have default parameters. That means that it would be set up uh, according to the par default parameters as decided by the operator. And this quality of service flow would be used for IMS signaling. Uh, in this case, it would be used to register this user equipment with the IMS uh, system. Now, suppose this user equipment wants to generate a call. In that case, this user equipment would need two quality of service flows or two QoS flows. The first one would be the default QoS which would be used for IMS signaling and the purpose of this IMS signaling would be to generate, uh, establish and maintain the voice call. And the actual packets of the voice would be carried on the second QoS flow uh, which is also called as the IMS media bearer and the quality of service parameters of this second flow depend upon the voice call. If it is a, uh, whether it is a high definition voice call or it is a standard definition voice call, according to the quality of voice call, the parameters of this second uh, quality of service flow would be decided by the IMS system.